it's well established that structural racism and discrimination impacts healthcare in the United States. Our research team focuses on understanding the three trillion dollars of healthcare spending that occurs each year and understanding what those resources are used for. In the study that we've just published in the Journal of American Medical Association, we highlight that a disproportional amount of healthcare spending is on white non-Hispanic populations. This is healthcare spending in the United States, uh, disaggregated across these six race and ethnicity groups. Um, the big orange is white, non-Hispanic individuals. And we know that in 2016, of all of the spending that we're able to disaggregate, 72% of the spending was on white non-Hispanics. That's despite the, in the US population that same year, only 61% of the population being uh, white non-Hispanics. So we can see already from this kind of first glance that, um, that there is maybe disproportionately more spending on white non-Hispanics. Despite the variation being less once you've age standardized in aggregate, the types of care that the different race ethnicity groups were having spending on really varied dramatically. And so this first slide here looks at ambulatory care, so outpatient care, and dental care. You can see the, the average amount of spending for people within each one of those race ethnicity groups for outpatient care and for dental care. The gray line is the all population mean. So, um, so we can see on the panel on the left, if you're focused just on ambulatory care, the Asian American, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander groups, Black and Hispanic groups all spend significantly less on ambulatory care per capita after age adjusting and the white non-Hispanic population spends way more. Switch over to emergency department care and inpatient care. You see much more parity in spending. You see black non-Hispanic actually spending more than Hispanic and white non-Hispanic um, in, in emergency department care. And in inpatient care, you see you know, some of the more or less the same trends. And then lastly, we can look at nursing facility care and prescribed pharmaceutical. Uh, for both of these, we see the Hispanic population is lower and the, uh, the black uh, non-Hispanic is a little bit higher. Uh, and, and in prescribed pharmaceuticals, the white non-Hispanic is higher too. Moving forward, we think it's especially important to think about the allocation of healthcare resources, in particular, driving up utilization for key essential services for preventive care and care for Black, Indigenous, and people of color populations in the U.S. to drive up and improve health equity.